Hello, John here and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this tutorial we're going to be doing a bit of a deep dive into logical operations and the three logical operations that are in the instruction set are AND, OR and EXCLUSIVE OR and these allow us to perform uh, boolean logic on the data that's within uh, the system. So the first command we're going to look at is an AND command and what this um, instruction does it takes what the value you've got in the cum accumulator then it ANDs it with the memory location or the number that you've provided and then the result is then put back in the accumulator. As well as that it will also modify and set the zero flag and the negative flag if um, uh, if it's a negative value or a or the answer turns to be a zero. Now the way an and uh, and logic works is that from this truth table, you t for example, we have two inputs, and an and is it will result in a 1 when the two inputs are a 1. If they are not a 1 then the result will always be a 0. So for example in this truth table we've got two inputs A and B and it's going to output C. So first input is naught, and the second input is naught, and the rule is if they are both 1's it's a 1 then the result is a 0. If it's 0 and a 1, the result is still a 0 because we still don't get that rule. Same again here, but it's the other way around. So if it's a 1 and a 0, it's still 0. And this is the only case where you will get a 1 out. So when it's 1 and a 1. So you've got to remember that the inputs have all got to be 1's to make an output of 1. So in this example, we've got 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And we're going to AND it with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So effectively saying that we only want the last three bits to um, be passed through, in essence, um, in the final result. So the final result would have been 1 and 0, 0, 0, 0 is 0, 0 and 0 is 0, 1 and 0 is 0, 0, 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 0, 1 and 1 is 1, 1 and 1 is 1, based on this, tru this truth table here. Now, what you can use an AND gate for is like a filter. So you can, you can, you can apply a filter to a number to give you the digits in that filter. So in this example I'm saying I only want to see I only want to see oops, let's do it this way I only want to see the last three bytes uh, last three bits in the byte. I don't want to see any of the other one and this comes this starts to become particularly important when you look when you're talking to say the CIA chip or the um, VIC chip and the SID chip yeah all those three you have to learn how to do ands and ors because a byte of memory for the CIA chip the SID chip and the VIC chip can mean can do more than one thing so you could have the low three bits doing one th Thing, the next two bits doing another and the top three bits doing another so what you do is if you just want to concentrate on a, a, a set of bits in a byte you can set the filter and that's what I've done here I've gone and said I'm only interested in the last three bits so whatever is in the last three bits will get passed through and everything else will be a zero because I'm not interested in that and so it's it's a quick way of doing a filter or applying as what is commonly known as a mask. This is masking the data so you only get the bit that you want. Okay? So, 
The next logic operation, um, operation is an OR gate. Now an OR gate, same as the AND gate, takes the accumulator, you OR it with the memory and then the result is put back in the accumulator. And same as the AND gate, the negative flag and the zero flag can be set depending on the value that's left in the accumulator. Now an OR is different than an AND. As an AND you'll only get a 1 if both the inputs are 1's. Well with an OR it's you're saying I want a 1 when either the inputs are 1's. So for A and B again, so the truth table was 0 OR 0 and the rule, if we apply the rule we must have a 1 to get a 1 is zero. But here, zero and one, oh, we've got a one, so that means the answer is going to be one. And the same here, we've got a one, so the answer is going to be one, doesn't matter what we put here, and it comes a one, and then same here, one or one is equal to one. So the or command is basically, if you've got a one in your input, you get a one out. As the and, both must be one. Alright? So if we apply this, the or gate, uh, the OR instruction to this, so this is our accumulator and we want to OR it with this number so it's the same thing, 1 or 1 is equal to 1 1 or 1 is equal to 1 0 and 1 still a 1 0 and 0 is 0 1 and 0 is a 1 0 and 1 is a 1 0 and 0 is a 0 and 1 and 0 is a 1. Now ORs are good at injecting a value into a byte. Yeah? So, if, like here, I want to turn this on, I want to turn this bit on, in the mem in, in the, this on and, and, and these as well. But let's just make life a little bit easier. Let's just do that. So, I want to just turn this bit on. No matter what, I just want to turn that bit on. Because if I'm talking to say the um, the SID chip, you can actually set um, the 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 waveform and 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 stuff like that. And same with the CIAs, you can set specific bits in the CIA chip to turn on and turn off um, things. And same with the VIC chip, Sprite, for example. There is one byte in a sprite that handles turning off and on a sprite. So each of the byte is equal. Each of the bits in the byte is equal. It, it corresponds to a sprite. We have um, eight sprites, and so depending on which byte you turn on, that uh, bit you turn on, you get the byte at uh, the sprite showing. So in this case, I'm saying I want to turn that sprite on no matter what, and that's why the result changes. And so it's very like injecting a number into a into a byte an or uh, an or command right and the last of the logical operations is what we this what is known as an exclusive or and it's same operations as the and gate and command and the or command but this uh, and and this one does exactly the same thing takes the accumulator performs the instruction with the memory that's been provided and the result goes back into the accumulator and same as the other two the negative flag is set and the, z the zero flag is set now an exclusive or is slightly different than the other two because it's it's you've you've got to you've got to look at it from this point right it's, it's like an or but not quite an or and it's got a bit of an and in it right and what it is is if you have a 1 in the input, but they are both not the same, you'll get a 1 out. Right? So, if we apply that to the truth table, remember, if you get a 1 in the input, but not both the same, you get a 1 out. So, 0 and 0 are the same, so we get a 0 out. 0 and 1, oh, look, we've got a 1, but they are different, so therefore we get a 1 out. Z 1 and zero are different so we get a one out and then one exclusive or one now with an and that would be a one 
but not in this case because they are both the same you get a zero so basically what this one's saying is if in, if the inputs are different you'll get a one as an out uh, an output but if the inputs are the same you'll get a zero so if we applied that to here we get a different answer because these two are the same so we've got to get a zero these two are the same so we've got to get a zero these two are different so we get a one these two are the same so we get a zero these two are different we get a one these two are different we get a one these two are diff uh, the same and so we get a zero and these two are different so we get a one and that is a, a, an exclusive or now an exclusive or can be used for many many things uh, especially if you're doing um, your truck you're testing for say collision detections and stuff like that where you're testing two sprites together you know if you get a one out you know they're not the, they're not together and stuff like that there's also another way of using an exclusive or now this is a boolean operation that doesn't come native to um, the 6502 but you can use uh, you can use certain commands that allows you to do it and the last one is a not gate now a not gate basically turns whatever your input is in, into the reverse so if you get a zero in you get a one out if you put a one in you get a zero out so it reverses your your numbers so in this case where we get have this is the number inside we will get the reverse coming out of it but this command doesn't exist natively in the instruction set but you can replicate it with one of the instructions in the instruction set and that is using the exclusive or because if you exclusive or with 255 so it's basically saying all the bits are one you know, if we do this here you'll find out that it basically reverses the input so if this is the input and this is our mask so 0 and 1 equals 1, 0 and 1 equals 1, 1 and 1 equals 0, 1 and 1 equals 0. So effectively our output is the reverse of our input. And we can do that here lot. So this is how it would perform in the 6502 because we're exclusive or in it with FF which means 255 two, and all the bits are set to 1. The answer is actually the opposite of what we put in. So even though the exclusive or does a completely different thing because of the number we put in we can actually make it do a knot and that is very powerful especially when um, you when you want to turn things off and on you know uh, a knot is very powerful one instruction you can if it's off you can turn it on and if it's on you can turn it off in one instruction so I have got a quick demo that's going to show um, how to reverse the screen you may have seen this before but this is a bit slightly but a bit more complicated because we are testing the screen and stuff like that so here we are so this is the tutorial so we've st got still got the standard sys statement to get going comment jump to screen reverser I've included some uh, basic tutorial routines that I use with for all the tutorials at the moment I've got a current mask so that's going to record what the state the screens in at the, at the point zero and what we do when we start is we load X with zero and we load the first character of the screen in then we do an and and we're saying is the most significant bit set so I'm not interested in the rest of the bit the byte I just interested in this one bit here and then I store it away in the current mask then I test it because the most significant bit in a byte is actually the negative flag so I test to see if it's minus and if it's minus I want to unreverse the screen because putting a bit in the most significant bit of a byte makes the character reverse on the screen so therefore I want to unreverse it but if the most significant bit of the byte is zero I want to reverse it so that means going straight through and reversing is this just basically just injecting a one into the most significant bit and we know how to do that is using an or so I'm loading 
bank note or in it to make with the most significant bit and then storing it back and I do that four times for the four banks loop round for 255 and then I jump out the finish but if the screen's already reversed then we want to unreverse it so we're going to and it and we're saying I'm only, I want the seven bits of the byte I'm not bothered about this one because this one makes it reverse so I want to no longer see that so we're masking out the seven bits of the byte and then storing it back and this is allows you to do um, to do the masking so I'm only I'm only interested in seven uh, least significant bits so if I run this there we go so the first time I run it because it tested the top corner and the top corner was uh, the most significant bit wasn't set it's reversed it so if I run it again it only reverses it run it again reverse un unreverse and this is just a quick way of using the and and all commands to do a both to do a test because we're testing the top corner so and, and finding out what state the screen's in because if I run it and make it full and then do a clear screen and then run it again see so because it tested the top corner which wasn't set it knows it had to do a reverse again so it's not toggling it knows because of that first corner so I hope that has explained a little bit more about the and the or and the exclusive or and I will see you in the next video take care bye